Hey, what's up? I'm gonna do a quick video on uh, how to install this little frame, heating bed frame uh, supports. So I put a, you can print it, but um, if you have plexiglass, this might be easier to do because there's a lot of filament. So this is quarter inch plexi or five millimeter. And you can see, it's pretty simple. I just drilled a hole into the to the metal, and then I threaded it with a four millimeter tap. So the little screws that came with the machine, the little M4 screws, will work fine. <clears throat> but for this side, on the back, if you see, I had to go two levels high. Put the spacer under there. And that's because the extruder in the back gets in the way. So it clears it now because I put the spacer there, but I wasn't able to put both flat like this. So the same thing in the STL file I put up. But um yeah, that's about it. Just make sure you use the right size screws because if you look over here. That's where the, my screw is barely sticking out, but if it was sticking out too far, it might hit the frame over here. So, I'm doing a couple millimeters of clearance. But yeah, I did this, I was meaning to do this, but um, I did it because uh, the frame, when I looked at it, when I took it apart, because I had to repack the bearings, the frame was getting bent in, because there's no support here, so every time you tighten the belt, it's pushing everything into the middle. So this straightened everything out, mostly. It's still a little bent in, but the frame, the plexi flat. Um, so hopefully that should help with leveling the bed. And I also need it now for the CNC stuff because I need as much support as I can get. So <clears throat> the smooth rods are actually, uh, I didn't tighten it all the way on, but The rods actually have a good amount of play in them too. So I think I'm gonna make some kind of systems to support them a bit better. But yeah, just you'll see in the in the in the link for the file that there's two different parts, but the back needs to be higher so it can clear up. And then just make sure you don't use too long a screw or use the right uh, washers so it'll clear the use washers to um so the screw doesn't stick out so far. But yeah, this should help out. I have support here now. And I'm sure that's why they didn't make it a square, is because of a lot less money and they probably didn't account for this being in the way. And uh, yeah. yeah, if you have a plexi line around, use it. So the filament, uh, it's probably stronger. And it's not going to melt in the heat as easy as uh, filament, so. I put the file up there so you have the idea. And I also put the vector, so if you want to machine the same shape profile, you can. And then, uh, yeah, that's about it. I, went, I did this because I had to repack bearings, and I'm also going to just got this fiber core, fiber belt today, or whatever. So, yeah, that's about it little things you need to know if you want to do this but um also too you don't have to worry you could still tighten the bed almost all the way as far as you should go without you know distorting your bed you don't want to tighten down too much because you're gonna bend the aluminum a little bit so these two spaces I made is of uh, 15 millimeters each one I mean 7.5 7.5 and go all the way here shows you could still tighten down and there's there's still a good amount of room on this so yeah it'll definitely clear I have to change these M4 screws for flat ones so they don't stick out so yeah if you have M4 screws with a flat top that's fine or you can make like a countersink and then uh, use the small screws but yeah. 
I'm going to see how the test print comes out. And I'm going to try the CNC again. Um, Alright, hope you guys like this. Thanks.